Hello again guys, and welcome back to the vlogging adventures of Honey Badger. This is going to be a really short one, because I don't have that much time. But, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on, and I wanted to talk about a couple things. So, what's going on? I got some stuff working for Minecraft, so I'm going to try to start having that up this week. I'm also going to be doing more Mass Effect, and like I said, there's going to be some action coming up, so you can look forward to that. Also... There's a segment I wanted to start in some of my vlogs when I have a thing to talk about, and I'm going to call it Moments in Video Games. As ridiculously cheesy as that sounds, I thought it was appropriate. And the moment I'd like to talk about today is in this wonderful game right here, Assassin's Creed DOS. Alright, so here's the story on this. I was had just finished up the part where you meet up with the Thieves Guild in Venice, the part with Rosa and everybody after you save her from getting shot from taking an arrow to the knee um, and I was about to go on to the next mission when I got the little pop-up thing of Rebecca saying this place has a glyph on it you should go look and I had to go see the glyphs because the glyphs are one of my solving the glyphs is one of my favorite parts of the game so I went to find it and while I was trying to find it I had this experience where I climbed up on the roof of one of the buildings right by the Thieves Guild. And as I was doing it, this really cool Assassin's Creed ambient music starts up. This really quiet, like, choral singing and violin playing in the background. You know how Assassin's Creed music is. And I climb up on the roof, and suddenly there's the entire ocean right in front of me. And the moon is, like, hanging right there, right in front of my face, casting, like, this beam across the ocean onto me and that combined with the music was it was kind of breathtaking actually because you know I'm just I'm that cool I got that uh, I was that awestruck by a video game but I just thought it was a really cool moment I wish I could show it but I was not recording Assassin's Creed at the time so I can only try to describe it to you and then the only other thing I wanted to talk about was an experience I had with Halloween. Alright, so my Halloween costume this year I thought was pretty cool. I tried to do like an old-fashioned detective kind of thing. You know, the black and white movies where they were really stylized and dramatic. I thought it'd be a cool costume to do, so I had my long coat and my hat and everything. And I wore it to school because I was doing a Halloween thing for the radio, actually. And I thought it'd be a good I thought it'd be fun to wear my costume. A lot of other people were in costumes when I got there. My, some of my friends on the radio were, and they liked my costume. They understood it and thought it was cool. But there was this one girl who walked by me, and she looks at me like, and then she turns into her friends, and I hear her go, trench coat. And I'm like, I understand that because of certain tools that walk around wearing their trench coats and fedoras to school every day, regardless of the weather, Regardless of whether it's 80 degrees outside, they're still wearing it. And I understand why people don't like them and think they're strange. Even though I don't really... Even though I think it's kind of silly. But I just... It just made me think how ridiculous people are sometimes. I mean, it's like... Oh no! He's wearing a coat that's cut longer than average! He must have these murderific, nefarious thoughts! That he's hiding from everybody! I don't know. Same thing with fedoras. I don't wear one. I understand that people don't like them. But it's not like I have some kind of crazy, insecure, rape-tastic plans in mind when I wore it for Halloween, okay? It was just a costume. Alright? People are so ridiculous. They're just clothes. Alright? It's just... The only reason they exist is to keep you warm and to keep your head warm and to wear if you have a bad hair day. The only reason we have clothes is so we're not naked. And it's stupid to have, like, an irrational fear of a certain type of clothing. Does it not seem weird to you? I don't know. But that's all I really have to talk about for this week's vlog. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and all that. Subscribe and all that jazz. Um, I'm going to try to get that Minecraft stuff up and the Mass Effect stuff up. And hopefully I will see you guys soon. So you guys have a good night.